What's up guys, welcome back to another video and today will be a commentary on my recent 1500 meter race which I personally think I did quite well in. Five of my friends were also in this race so yeah it was pretty fun to race along with my friends and um yeah make sure to like and subscribe and let's get on to the race. Before the race starts I want to show you who my friends were and me that were actually in it. So I'm the one in the green shirt there. The short dude is Casey. He's also a runner, but he's like he has another channel, Casey Atkinson MTV. Go subscribe to him. Yeah, the other guy in the blue shirt is the other actual runner. His name is Ollie. So they are there. Us three are the only ones that are actually, like, runners and train. Like, the others, the guy in the yellow shirt has recently started running, like, two weeks ago, like, just for fitness. And the two guys in the dark blue shirt, taller one, a uh, longer blonde hair, he's a, he's a swimmer, he's, so he's got some natural fitness for running. And, um, th and then the final guy, he's, he's one of my friends who, he's not a runner, he just came to have fun. He's also got some natural fitness, because he's a good hockey player. So yeah, watch out for them during the race. Yeah, and here's the race, and there were a lot of people on the starting line, because the rugby team were just doing it as a warm down for after their training. So see the rest of us who are actually running it, just like 12 people are up at the front. So yeah, I just decided to take the lead right away, because I just because I was trying to just hit a time, I wasn't necessarily trying to win. Because I know that like n normally taking the lead in the beginning isn't the best racing strategy, but uh, my goal was to break 5 minutes which I thought was a pretty reasonable goal since I ran the 10k like a, a I mean the 3k like a week ago in like 10.50 so yeah I think I thought 5 minutes was a reasonable goal so yeah still I'm still in the lead and yeah Casey who's the other runner he starts off a bit slow behind the other two non-runners probably gonna drop off soon so yeah Ollie's just staying right behind me <laughs> just drafting off of me yeah, I'm just trying to hit a target pace, because I, I didn't want to go behind him just in case he was running too slow and then I couldn't break five minutes. So yeah, yeah as you see, like, some of the other guys are just dropping off already, so it's already just five of us at the front. So yeah, um, yeah, you'll see all of the rugby players were just jogging it like a huge group soon. Oh yeah, so... Yeah, so me and Ollie decide to I decide to go for a bit of a surge just to see like if anyone can keep up. Yeah, and um yeah, I take a bit of a lead here because Ollie has a little bit of like a calf niggle or something that slows him down a bit. And yeah, as you see I'm like got a 15 meter gap now. But that closes soon as, as Casey decides to pick up the pace and try to catch me. Yeah, so this is the point where I really slow down because I don't hear anyone behind me, so I just sort of think, oh yeah. Like, I'm sort of in no man's land, so I don't know how fast to go. <clears throat> yeah, but now, see, Ollie and Casey starting to catch back up. See, um, Fletcher, who's the swimmer, is starting to drop off now, and so is Connor. So, yeah, that training, like, that lack of training re really shows when they can't hold on for, like, 600 meters. Yeah, so now it's just pretty much the actual runners left, me, Casey, and Ollie. So we're at, like, I think, 700 meters by this point. Yeah, and um, still, st I'm still feeling decent at this stage, like, um... Yeah, there's not much really to talk about now, because it's just the three of us running at the same pace, so... And, yeah, yeah, the three of us, yeah, see there's Lennon back there, just... <laughs> he's started running recently, so he's just, he was aiming to break six minutes. So he's like 200, 300 meters behind us, but at this point, so yeah, the three of us still just staying together. <laughs> Nothing's really happening at the moment. But here, I noticed that there's like um, 600 meters to go, so I decided to really push it, and I'm yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling the pain at this point definitely. So I see all of this, the rugby joggers here, just doing it after as they're warmed down after their training, and I'm like, oh god, I really hope they move out of the way because I really want to pick up the pace now. And, um, yeah, because I know that, um, Ollie has a strong kick, so I really wanted to try drop him off early, because I knew that if he had a kick, then I, that I wouldn't be able to follow. So, yeah, now I'd really tried to pick up the pace, but unfortunately, it wasn't fast enough for them to, like, drop off. <laughs> so, yeah, you can't really see us, because the rugby players are in the way. Oh, and my dad just has a bit of a filming error there. But shout out to him for filming the full race and coming down. But thanks, Dad. So now... Yeah, you can't really see us, so we'll just wait a bit till we pass the actual rugby players. Yeah, there we go, we're past them now. And uh, yeah, you see see Fletcher back there, like 200 meters behind, so you see how much they drop off. 
and there's Connor, like 250 meters behind the hockey player. He sh they both should break six minutes. I don't know about Lennon though. <laughs> you can see him come up soon. Yeah, there he is. Oh no, that's not him. That's a that's another girl. <laughs> oh yeah, so Casey has dropped off at this point because I really pushed the pace after um like with 400 to go. So yeah, Casey couldn't really hang on. So now it's just me and Ollie, but I sort of knew that I, I had to try find a kick because Ollie was coming up right behind me. He was just sitting behind me waiting to just to a kick. So I really tried to sprint, but I had nothing left. And Ollie was just coming after me. <laughs> yeah, and you see, <laughs> he just overtakes me. So I was leading like 95% of the way, and then he just comes and takes my lead for the win. So annoying. But we both ended up running incredible times. He ended up running a 4.48 and I ran a 4.49. So I ran 11 seconds below my goal. And Casey even still ran under 5 minutes. He ran 4.57. So yeah, really good races.